We interrupt this program to bring you this special report. Good evening. It is now three months since the ill-fated flight from Seattle disappeared from the radar screens. The search goes on and the families continue to hold out hope that those lost Seattle residents are alive somewhere in the Pacific Ocean. Morning, Walter. Hey, can't stay long. What's cooking? I got a mango guava latte with some uh, steamed coconut milk here. <laughs> Man, I tell you, when you get home, you are going to make a bundle off this. Count me in on the investment. All right. Give me a double shot. I have to get back to the campus. Walter, can I say something? Mm -hmm. Now, I know you Microsoft guys are really proud of the work you do, you know, but it, it just really seems to me that we should all be working together to find a way off the island, you know, instead of writing software. Hey, our pagers are still working. They keep telling us we're behind schedule. You want to piss off Phil? Go ahead. I'm going to get some work done. Well, how are you guys writing software anyway? Well, we're poking the code into palm leaves with pointy sticks. <laughs> Works pretty well. To tell you the truth, it's actually a little, it's, it's a little easier than Windows 95. Well, <laughs> Hey, all right! What? The stock split again. <laughs> all right. You see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You know, I mean, what, what good is all this stock if, you know, if, you're gonna, if we're all stuck here? You know, I mean, you guys built that damn bridge across the swamp to the east side of the island. <laughs> the traffic is all congested. You've got these huge bamboo huts over there. They all look the same. No individual character. <laughs> Y'all built three-car garages. We don't have any cars, you know? You should be putting all that energy into building a boat so we can get out of here. You want a boat? You should talk to those folks from Tacoma. Hey, what, what happened to those guys? I haven't seen them in weeks. Oh, they moved down south by the volcano. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Wait a minute. By the sulfur flume? Mm -hmm. That's toxic. They should get out of there. Yeah, they don't seem to mind. Uh. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, they just finished a big boat. You should see it. That's great. Is it seaworthy? No, but it's got a great casino. Oh, it's really great. Excuse me. Hey, Stan, you're late. I'm in my lane, pal. Look, this side is for walking. This side is for jogging and bicycles. <laughs> Who has a bicycle? Mine's almost done. I just need one more snakeskin. <sighs> I told you we need to widen these lanes. We need a boat. No, we need to widen these lanes. And our committee has also come up with some other proposals that we want to talk about at the big fire tonight. Oh, now what? Well, we feel that the community needs a park. Now, the only problem is that we'll have to demolish most of the huts. Our huts? The huts that we sleep in? Yeah, I know it'll cause some discomfort, but if we do this now before the village gets too developed, we could have a park that stretches from the beach all the way up to the big rocks on the hill. Wouldn't that be great? You were on the Seattle Commons Committee, weren't you? <laughs> you know, I know you. You were part of that group that was traveling with John Hinterberger, yeah. You know, I haven't seen him since the crash. What, what happened to him? Well, he was injured pretty bad, so we ate him. Oh. <laughs> How was he? You know, not as good as we expected. Three stars at the most. Huh, huh. <laughs> anyway, the park is a good idea, and we should build it right after we finish the football stadium. Wait a minute, we did finish the football stadium. That's where those guys from Wallingford got killed by the wild boar. Well, we're tearing it down because it wasn't a state-of-the-art facility, okay? <sighs> you know, all the people in first class from the plane said they wanted skyboxes, so oh, what can geez. you say? Hey, everybody. Hey. hey. How are you doing? Good. Man, I got some good news. We were able to rewire one of those pagers, you know, and we yeah. got in touch with Paul Allen's office. He's going to find Finance a rescue mission. That's great. Right. We're safe. Cool. Right. Uh, just uh, one thing, we uh, have to come up with half the money. <laughs> what? Yeah. See, he figures he's making a big investment here, and he wants the community to support him. We we, we need to tax something. See, and frankly, the only thing we sell is these lattes. <laughs> no way. Sorry, gotta go, guys. Gotta poke some code. See you guys at the big fire tonight. <laughs> I want to go home. Oh, have a latte and shut up.